to create a new project. Double click the TIA portal icon to start the program. Select create new project. Assign a name for the project. And then click create button. Use the portal view of the TIA portal. Click devices and networks. And then select add new device. Enter a new device name of your controller. Then select the desired PLC from the list. And then click add button to add a new device. Congratulations! You have created a new PLC in the project. Let's configure the PLC and assigning device parameters. Under the Profinet interface in the inspector window. Click Ethernet addresses. Click this button to add a new subnet for the network. Set an IP address in the project. Or you can just leave the default value. On the system and clock memory in the inspector window. Click the box to enable the use of clock memory byte for the example project. You can change the address of clock memory byte or you can just leave the default value. The address of the clock memory byte will automatically be added under the PLC tag of the default tag table. You can also add a new tag table for your input and output addresses. When done, double click to open. If tag is ready, it's better because it's faster. Just copy the tag from the Excel sheet. And then paste to the input and output tag of the PLC. Input and output tags are now added on the PLC tag, let's save the project. Close the IO tags for the next step. Let's add another device. Use the project tree to add a new device. Assign a name for the project and select HMI. And then select the desired HMI panel from the list. And then click OK button. The HMI device wizard opens after you have created an HMI device. The HMI has a default setting, if you want to leave the default setting. Then click the finish button below. If you want to change the default setting, then let's configure first the PLC connection. Click the next button to select the background color for the template and the elements for the header. Let's check the header options. You can select a header with screen title. You can also select to include the date and time and you can include the logo if you want to. Click the next button to configure the alarm settings, or you can also disable the alarms by unselect the box. Click the next button. Here, you can add a screen. You can also delete the screen. And also rename the screen in which the graphic element will later be created to HMI. Click the next button to select the system screens. Here, you can disable the system screen. These are not necessary for the example project. Click the next button. Enable the lower button area and insert the exit button. Runtime can be terminated using this button. And then click the finish button below. Congratulations! You have created a new HMI in the project. Let's configure the IP address of the newly added HMI. Click the HMI in the graphic area, under the Profinet interface in the inspector window. Click Ethernet addresses. Subnet already configured earlier. Let's set an IP addresses in the project, or you can just leave the default value. Let's add another device. Use the project tree to add a new device. Assign a name for the project and select HMI, and then select the desired HMI panel from the list. And then click OK button. This time just leave the default setting. Then click the finish button below. Congratulations! You have created again another HMI in the project. Click the HMI in the graphic area, and then click the properties. 
under the Profinet interface in the inspector window. Let's add this HMI on the same subnet. Let's set an IP addresses in the project. Or you can just leave the default value. Click the network view. A new subnet is now connected to the PLC and HMI. Example program will be discussed in a separate video. Hoping you learn something new today. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.